100 Thieves are North America's Valorant poster boys. After taking down every top outfit in NA to win the first Future Earth Major, this roster looked like they had all of the right ingredients. They have to find a way out of this situation, but it's getting worse and worse, and who better than Hiko to look to seal the deal here in this Grand Finals as Colors tries. He does all that he can, but it's simply not enough against 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves, they've done it. They are your first strike North America champions. But with Nitro absent during the Challengers 1 Open qualifier, the squad were lacklustre at best. Sluggish? That'd be a compliment. They scraped their way past a couple of unknown squads, who on paper shouldn't have caused any trouble for the former Counter-Strike veteran duo of Hiko and Steel. Because it's all down to Sean Peasy. If anybody can get it done, it's Sean. He's just breaking on one. The boom block comes on through, but it silenced through the wall, and it's 100 Thieves to pick up right where they left off. But then came a Carpe Noctum side eager to prove their worth. Thieves were absent and Carpe pounced on the opportunity, sending the major winners home early. The veteran team was forced to lick their wounds and watch bitter rival Sentinels recover from a shaky start to claim the first Challengers event. Technically the fourth. It'll be a 3-1 victory for Sentinels here in the finals of the very first closed qualifier for North American VCT. Congratulations to them. They will be taking home the lion's share of the prize pool and, of course, the bragging rights that goes alongside. So with the pressure on, who would step up for 100T when it mattered most? Led by Counter-Strike's rebel defector Steel, the First Strike champs answered critics in the most emphatic way, storming their way through the second qualifier without dropping a map. And now there's only 20 seconds, Doug. 2v4, this is looking all but lost for 100 Thieves unless something crazy happens right now. But... Oh, oh, there it is! How's that for crazy? Baby Nitro comes in with two. That's going to give him room to get onto the spike. But he goes going to get it down quickly. Nitro's got three. The dad strength is just too strong. Rebo with oh. one. Hiko trades it out. Did Nitro's absence hamstring their performance that much? Well, in short, no. Yes, the Omen main popped off here and there, but something else was different about the Thieves. Their approach was snappier, their strategies were more creative, and who was steering that ship? None other than Steel, of course. The in-game leader had his troops buzzing, especially in the do-or-die qualifier match against Anbox. Centered around the support of Steel and his Cypher Killjoy combo, everyone thrived and everything clicked. A sooner in particular flourished with the freedom he was given. Steel utilized the youngster like a queen on a chessboard, making great use of his versatile abilities. This paid off as he chalked up 11 first bloods in their swift 2-0 dismantling of the Anbox squad. I'm going to have box, but really, this is 100 Thieves looking really good, Doug. It's another big kill. Interesting investment of the lockdown <laughs> here, but Asuna is just holding W. He's already got three, looking for oh. the fourth. He's going to get another, he might get another ace this tournament. He's hunting. He can smell blood in the water. You see him going after the remaining player. Give it to him! Not one to be outdone by his teammate, Dicey was firing on all cylinders too, as the pair tussled for top spot on the leaderboard. Starting to tap it right. Nitro's on it right now. It's Student Smokes. Dicey goes in, gets two, three on the round with the frenzy. Oh, Give my. him four! The round falls apart for Anbox. And while Steel isn't exactly lighting up the scoreboard, his setups and reads are always second to none. Steel's already got a setup for that. Saw it coming. Austin and Dicey both trading frags back out. Seb finds his second. That'll be huge. Only seconds remain on this clock, but it yeah. doesn't even matter. The spike will not get planted. And it shows. Not in his personal stats, but in the stats and performance of those around him. Oh, not to mention an undefeated run through the open qualifier. Andrew trying to keep them back. The spike's gonna go down. Here's Android on the flank in the 3v1 to try to keep the map alive, to try to keep the tournament alive, but he's gonna drop. Ladies and gentlemen, your former kings of North America punch their ticket to the big dance. 100 Thieves defeats Anbox and they qualify for the close qualifiers. But his big brain isn't the only string to Steel's bow. Put a raised paint shell in his hands and the FPS veteran can almost keep up with his peppy duelist all-stars. Yeah, not Sage is lit. 100 H. Sage is 20 HP. Nice. One enemy remaining. Mm. With the best in-game leader in town, all the stars are aligned for 100 T to make a resounding return to the top. And with a potential matchup against Sinatra and Co on the cards, Steel will be keen to set the record straight and capitalize on Sentinel's shaky Challengers 1 performance. But what do you think? 
Will 100 Thieves continue their flawless streak in the close qualifier and book their spot in Stage 1 Masters? Will Steele add more strats in his playbook to stay ahead of the curve? Let us know in the comments down below, and as always, like the video and subscribe to Deserto for much more esports content.